Hey, good morning, everybody. It's David Martin. I'm about to show you a podcast from Andrew Huberman. And he's about to come on here. And I think it's super important that you listen to what he has to say about medical grade light therapy that we provide here at the Light Lounge. Listen to discuss the use of light for optimizing skin health, appearance, and longevity, for okay. wound healing, for optimizing hormone balance, and for regulating sleep, alertness, mood, and even for offsetting dementia. One of the reasons why light has such powerful effects on so many different aspects of our biology is that it can be translated into electrical signals in our brain and body, into hormone signals in our brain and body, and indeed into what we call cascades of biological pathways, meaning light can actually change the genes that the cells of your bodies express, and that is true throughout the lifespan. Today, I will discuss the mechanisms by which all of that occurs. I promise to make it clear for those of you that don't have a biology background, and if you do have a biology background, I'll try and provide sufficient depth so that it's still of interest to you. And I promise to give you tools, very specific protocols that are extracted from the peer review literature that will allow you to use different so-called wavelengths, most of us think of as colors, of light in order to modulate your health in the ways that are most important to you. For those of you that are thinking that the use of light to modulate health falls under the category of woo science, pseudoscience, or biohacking, well, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, in 1903, the Nobel Prize was given to Niels Finsen, who's Icelandic, in Denmark, for the use of phototherapy for the treatment of lupus. Good point. So there's more than a hundred years of quality science emphasizing the use of light, and as you'll soon see, the use of particular wavelengths, or colors of light, in order to modulate the activity of cells in the brain and body. So while it is the case that many places and companies are selling therapies and products related to the use of flashing lights and colored lights, promising specific outcomes from everything from stem cell renewal to improvement of brain function. And some of those don't have any basis in science. There are phototherapies that do have a strong foundation in quality science. And those are the studies and the okay. protocols that we are going to discuss today. But I thought that people might appreciate knowing that over a hundred years ago, people were thinking about the use That's of light for treatment point. of various diseases and for improving health. And indeed, many of those therapies are used today in high quality hospitals and research institutions and of course clinics and homes around the world. One of the more exciting examples of phototherapy in the last few years is the beautiful work of Dr. Glenn Jeffrey at University College London. The Jeffrey Lab is known for doing pioneering and very rigorous research in the realm of visual neuroscience. And in the last decade or so they turned their attention to exploring the role of red light therapy for offsetting age-related vision loss. What they discovered is that just brief exposures to red light early in the day can offset much of the vision loss that occurs in people 40 years or older. Time to go to Light Lounge.